Hey, how's it going? I'm from the mountains and this is my review of the Martin D16. Um, so this model in particular is actually the DC16RE, which means it's a, it's a D16, but it's got a cutaway, that's what the C stands for, and the RE stands for the Fishman Aura pickup that it has here. Um, so it's got a one-piece neck, it's a really nice neck, um, solid spruce top, and solid mahogany back and sides. Um, it's got some kind of X bracing. Um, it's got a binding, a nice little kind of pearl uh, rosette, whatever that thing's called. A little tortoiseshell pick guard, and a looks like a a herringbone kind of binding down the back. Um, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, it's got the Fishman Aura pickup, which is an amazing pickup. So it has volume, and then it's got six images. So those six images are meant to be kind of microphone emulators. So yeah, I'm not sure what, I'll have to look that up. But um, and you can blend it between the, the uh, kind of under saddle pickup. Um, and the microphone emulation, so I like to keep it leaning towards the pickup but with a bit of emulation coming in and it makes a really nice crisp sound, there's no quacking um, it's amazing, then you've got your normal treble, bass, mid, phase, all that kind of stuff um, it's got a built-in tuner which is so handy um, cuts off the uh, output when you put the tuner on um, it's got Martin machine heads just there. Machine heads all really do the job, They're not, nothing special. Um, and it's got the nice little Martin gold leaf logo, you can kind of feel it up the top. Um, it's got a, uh, looks like an ebony uh, fretboard. Um, it's got medium frets, not jumbo frets. It has, what's that? That does not look like bone, that looks like some kind of plastic, so it looks like a plastic nut in the saddle. Um, the saddle could be bone, uh, and it's got kind of plastic bridge pins. Um, uh, let me show you the fretboard could be rosewood, I'm not sure, because this feels like rosewood looks like rosewood whatever it's got a gloss finish as well um, the end pin which has the pickup um, input uh, the uh, 3.5 mil out or whatever it is or 6.5 mil I don't know what the hell they're called now 6.5 mil that's the one um, really bloody annoying you can't fit a strap over that you have to kind of like stretch it and sometimes it falls off hate this absolutely hate this um, this love these ones. Perfect. Brilliant. Um, as for how it sounds, beautiful sound. Solid everything. Spruce top. I'll give you a bit of a play but the phone's microphone's not great.
Yeah, so that's what it sounds like. It's a beautiful guitar. Um, I really like it. But now I'm going to get into the pr the cons. Got yeah, that's the one. So uh, the glue that they use for the binding. Um, it's really shit. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Um, this has come off, this little heel cap thing, um, the binding is coming off everywhere and yeah I hate it, um, I, I prefer the guitars that aren't bound, um, but I've had Fenders, Fender acoustic guitars which are notoriously shitty, um, they do fine uh, with their bindings. Um, to be fair, I think they are kind of the... So this binding is obviously glued on. The fender bindings, I think, they... When they have their wood, they drill a hole, or they route a hole, and then fill it with this plastic. And then when they cut the shape out, they actually cut out, including the plastic, um, which forms a binding so you don't need any glue or anything because it's part of the wood and it melts into the pores and everything. Um, this one they apply the binding after the guitar is made so that definitely makes a difference. Um, but oh, they, Martin does not know how to bind a guitar for the heat. Um, in Australia it's really humid and hot and then all of a sudden in winter it gets really cold. Um, so the temperature changes because the wood and the plastic are different material and have different properties. Um, the what ha what's happening is the plastic is shrinking quicker than the wood is, and the glue can't keep up with that shrinkage. So just um, and to get it rebound, what you have to do is you have to heat up the plastic and kind of melt it back, um, which is which can it's really bad um it's easier to get the guitar rebound which i can't afford so that's not happening um other than that it's all solid um so it's kept up really well the neck is beautiful um it, because it is one piece i do need to adjust it when the seasons change more than other guitars um but that being said, I don't know if you can see it, but this bit is smooth and this bit still has its kind of original finish. That's from use. I think that looks fantastic. Um, yeah, that's, and the body, see this is broken. So this clip doesn't exist anymore. So uh, the old mate blue tack has now become a clip for me. Um, Furthermore, uh, the kind of the wires inside the what you might call it haven't been. They got stuck, but obviously that glue failed as well because Martin doesn't know what the hell glue is, um, and they kind of rattle around. So if you shake that, you can hear stuff which you shouldn't be able to hear. Um, yeah, the pickup is fantastic when it's not broken um, this one isn't broken but the clip's broken so I count that as broken um, the guitar sounds amazing um, this one is 10 years old so I think it is fair that it is showing signs of wear um, but yeah if you can get your hands on one of these uh, it's a great idea just noticed that my guitar is doing a bit of belly bulge I did have the bridge reseated so that's sad to hear. I do have plenty of saddle left. So I'll just sand that down. Um, I might need to release the tension in the strings a little bit. That's a bit frustrating. Anyway, so that's my review of the Martin DC-16RE. Hope you enjoyed.